Our cosmic neighbor Mars has captivated humanity for centuries. Its rusty red hue, visible even to the naked eye, sparks a fundamental question. Was there ever life on Mars? The possibility, however remote, ignites our imagination. Could life in some form have once thrived on this alien world? The search for answers takes us on a thrilling journey of scientific discovery. For centuries, Mars was merely a red dot in the sky. Telescopes revealed polar ice caps and changing seasons, fueling speculation about Martian life, but it was the dawn of the space age that brought Mars into sharp focus. Robotic explorers sent across millions of miles began to paint a more detailed picture. The evidence collected over decades of robotic exploration paints a tantalizing picture. Mars, once thought to be a dry and desolate world, might have harbored the conditions necessary for life to emerge. As we delve deeper into the Martian mysteries, we unravel a story that is both captivating and profound. One of the most compelling pieces of evidence pointing towards a habitable ancient Mars is the presence of water. Not just frozen water at the poles, but signs of vast oceans and flowing rivers that once sculpted the Martian surface. The Curiosity rover exploring Gale Crater found evidence of ancient stream beds, suggesting a time when water flowed freely on Mars. The presence of water is a game changer. On Earth where there's water, there's life. This simple truth drives our search for life beyond Earth. Finding evidence of past water on Mars suggests that the Red Planet might have once been a much more hospitable place than it is today. The search for life goes beyond just water. It requires the building blocks of life as we know it, organic molecules. And on Mars, we've found them. The Curiosity rover, using its sophisticated suite of instruments, detected organic molecules in Martian rocks. These molecules, containing carbon, are the fundamental components of life as we know it. While the presence of organic molecules doesn't necessarily confirm past life, it's a critical piece of the puzzle. These molecules could be remnants of ancient Martian life, or they could have been delivered by meteorites. Regardless, their discovery adds another layer of intrigue to the Martian story. In the thin Martian atmosphere, scientists have detected plumes of methane. On Earth, methane is primarily produced by living organisms. Could these Martian methane bursts be a sign of microbial life lurking beneath the surface? The answer remains elusive. Methane can also be produced by geological processes, adding complexity to the puzzle. Volcanic activity, reactions between rocks and water, could also release methane. Distinguishing between biological and geological sources is a crucial challenge for future Mars missions. The Curiosity rover, since its dramatic landing in 2012, has been tirelessly exploring Gale Crater, a site chosen for its potential to reveal Mars' past habitability. The rover's findings have been nothing short of groundbreaking. Evidence of ancient lakes, flowing water and organic molecules paints a picture of a Mars that was once much more Earth-like than previously thought. Curiosity's mission, however, is just one chapter in a much larger story. Future missions, equipped with even more advanced instruments, will continue to probe the Martian surface and subsurface, searching for definitive signs of past or present life. While the question of past life on Mars remains unanswered, the evidence we've gathered so far is incredibly exciting. Mars, once a distant red dot, is now a world brimming with possibilities. The discoveries made by robotic explorers have only deepened our fascination with the Red Planet. What secrets does Mars still hold? Were we, in fact, once alone in our solar system? These questions will continue to drive our exploration of Mars for decades to come. As we push the boundaries of science and technology, the mysteries of Mars will slowly unravel, bringing us closer to answering one of humanity's oldest questions, are we alone?